Well, then we bring you breaking news here on Sky Sports Racing. Jumps Racing is back at Windsor. Something that I have been begging Martin Grudis for for about the last five years. And finally, I have got my way. We have got our way. Jumps Racing back. The racetrack that you remember Royal Athlete prepped for before winning the Grand National for Jenny Pittman. 2024. 2025 jump season, jumps racing back at Windsor Racecourse. Mick, you're a jumping man. As a jumping man, I mean, we've seen Folkestone go in yeah. recent years. Um, you surely will be delighted, won't you? Absolutely delighted. And look, in an ideal world, when you've won top class jump racing, you need somewhere to bring in top class novices. The ideal platform for a top-class novice is a flat level track with fair fences, exactly what Windsor had. And, you know, look, I can only go on. I rode a lot for Nicky Henderson. He loved having runners and loved having winners at Windsor, and I'm sure he'll support it to the hilt. And I think I was just looking through it this morning, actually, when I heard the news, and I think I rode 20 winners around there. I think it was about a one and four strike rate. So, yeah, I, if I was to make a comeback, I'd be quite happy to do it at Windsor. Really exciting news here at Windsor. We're having jump racing back again for the first time since, well, effectively 1998, although they did come back here briefly when Ascot was getting uh, rebuilt and run the long walk hurdle back in 2004. But uh, Charlie Reese, who's clerk of the course, is going to give us some more details about this really ambitious and exciting project, Charlie. Yeah, that's right, Mike. It is very exciting. Um, Windsor will be a dual course in 2024. We look to host our first fixture in December. And yeah, it's very exciting. Um, it's going to be a new course, not the um, figure of eight that they had before, but a new left-handed, continuous sort of hopefully galloping track. We're standing on that new part of the track now, Charlie, which has been levelled off. I believe you've done all this work already. Um, effectively, then, the, the flat track will not be involved in this new jumps track for much of it. Yeah, so look, we've tried to push them off the crucial areas. So we know how um, our flat track's a figure of eight and the intersection gets crossed over in numerous directions. So we've made sure that with this jumps course, as you can see, um, they won't be going anywhere near the intersection. And around the bend, they'll be going around the outside of the yeah. bend the wrong way, I suppose you can say yeah. as opposed to going right-handed around it on the inside so nothing like then Charlie like the old course here the old jumping track no it's not um, the idea is though that we've got two long straights still and the sharp bends which I've been told by a number of jockeys that rode around here was a thrill to ride around yeah. so will the new jumping fixtures will they be added to the, the sort of you know the Winds Windsor roster throughout the whole 12 months I mean or will will there be one or two flat fixtures that will be sacrificed yeah, so we're still going to only have 26 fixtures a year, and that doesn't mean that those flat fixtures won't exist. They're just going to be moved to other courses around the country. Yeah. Um, but it just means that sort of the April and the October fixtures here that bookend our flat season will be removed, and we'll replace them with jumps fixtures. Mm -hmm. I always remember in the old days, there was never a massive problem about the surface here, Charlie. It was always that the, the issue about meetings being abandoned was the frost. Yeah, look, frost is everyone in the winter you look yeah. it doesn't matter what size of a course you are um, but look we will be ready as any course are and hopefully um, it doesn't get to us we are quite protected with the trees and the river around us mm -hmm. and um, look the record state we didn't run on heavy ground much in the back in the 90s and look we had a tractor on this track in January the 3rd this year so um, it, it does drain very well yeah it's incredibly exciting i mean it came, it came as a bit of a surprise to you i hear as well yeah look it was it wasn't something that um it's been i suppose it's something that's been talked about a lot but it wasn't something that i really thought would definitely happen but um there's a lot of call for it now and we we feel we're in a position with the track that we can provide lovely jumping ground in the winter yeah yeah and has it been an expensive you know refurb or, well not refurb but redesign charlie is it because it cost arc a lot of money to do that hey look arc have been very generous to windsor they've um, invested a lot of money in this project but the brilliant thing about it is is um they're investing in the whole flat season as well so the investments aren't just going to benefit the jumping it will actually improve hopefully the um jump flat season flat surface in the future yeah indeed um and we all love racing here on a monday night that's not going to be affected that's iconic part of windsor but getting back the regulars over the jumps i'm sure will please a lot of local followers here yeah we really hope so and we hope that it sort of um opens our doors to 
a wider range of people and more people come racing here at Windsor to a track that is absolutely stunning. Yeah, it certainly is. And listen, when do we actually see the, the first meeting then? Have you got it inked in already? Yeah, so it'll be on Sunday the 15th of December 2024. Right, right, before Christmas. Yeah, it'll be a really fantastic time and yeah. uh, we can't wait. And I think it's, there's a, a long way to go yet, but it, it's going to be fantastic. So for that first season, 24-25, do you know how many fixtures you'll have just yet, or are you just focusing on that initial one? Yeah, so we're just focusing on the, the one in December at the moment, and we, we haven't looked because obviously the, um, the calendar book isn't out for 20, 2025. But yeah. we'll, uh, we'll look at that when it comes, but to the moment we're just focusing on the one and we'll get on and hopefully put a good show on. Do you know what, in the old days, well before you were around here, Charlie, they had the New Year's Day hurdle here, didn't they? A lot of champion hurdlers came up and turned up on the day and had a run round here. And Do you think we'll ever get back to that sort of status again? Oh, I'd love it to. It'd yeah. be fantastic, wouldn't it? It'd be lovely to have some really good, attractive, competitive racing here, which, you know, that, that's the whole idea of it, really, is that we want to put on uh, racing with big field sizes and... You know, we're not far from Lambourne and hopefully the stakeholders will enjoy coming here again. Yeah, I really hope so. So plenty of quality on display as well. But the ground staff looking forward to it too? Yeah, look, they, uh, it was a shock to them as well, but they're, they're over the moon, you know. They, they absolutely love the sport. They love the place they work and it's a bit of another a nod to them, isn't it, that they, they think they're up to the job and I definitely think they are. Look, they've done a fantastic job so far re-levelling this and yeah. it's just going to be brilliant.